Knowing your right bra size can be life-changing. The tape measuring system is one of many ways to calculate your best fit, but no measuring system is completely accurate. Keep in mind this measuring system is pretty accurate up to a 36D. Any larger band or cup size, and the results will be more of a bra sizing starting point. That said, grab your measuring tape and put on your newest, best fitting underwire bra that is free of padding and is not a minimizer style. Do a profile check to make sure your breast apex is halfway between your shoulder and elbow. If not, tighten your straps until this is true. First, let's find your band size. Wrap the measuring tape directly under your bust, making sure it's parallel to the floor. This is critical because if the tape measure isn't straight, you will get an inaccurate measurement. Let out all the air from your lungs, making sure you get the smallest measurement possible. Our model measures 28 and a quarter inches. If your underbust measurement isn't an exact number, round to the nearest inch. Using this number, go to your band size chart and find your measurement and your estimated band size. If your measurement is 39 inches or more, round to the nearest even number, and this will be your band size. Our model's 28 inch measurement gives her a 32 band size. Now let's find your cup size. Standing straight, with your shoulders back, your arms at your sides, and breathing normally, wrap the tape measure around your body at the fullest part of your bust. The tape measure should just touch you and not feel binding. Again, the tape measure should be parallel to the floor. Our model measures 35 inches. If your best measurement isn't an exact number, round to the nearest inch. So now you have two measurements. Our model's band size is 32 inches and her bust measurement is 35 inches. We subtract our band size from our bust measurement to get a difference of three. A three inch difference on our chart translates to a C cup size. So according to the tape measuring system, our model's bra size is a 32C. Now, let's look at an example where the tape measuring method fails to provide a correct result. We know our next model is a 38 double D or D2. After exhaling, her bust measurement is 38 inches. Because our model is larger than a D in the cups, her band size will be her actual measurement rounded up to the nearest even number. So our model is a 38 band size. An alternate method for finding your band size is to measure above your bust, under your arms, and around your back. This measurement doesn't need any numbers added to it, but it's problematic because the correct location is not clear. And this measurement location is kind of nonsensical. On our model, this measurement is 42 inches, but you can see that the tape is not parallel to the floor. If we measure lower, we get 41 and a half inches. Both of these measurements are inaccurate for our model who is a 38 band size. For these reasons, I don't suggest this measurement. Since we know our model is a 38D2, her bust measurement should be five inches greater than her band size of 38, so 43 inches. But it's actually 46 inches in this bra. We measured our model again in a less supportive bra. This time she measured 44 and a quarter inches. So our model's measurements gave her cup sizes larger than her true cup size. Neither was her true bra size, but a good starting point. As you can see, the tape measuring technique gives different answers based on how your breasts are supported. There are a lot of factors that go into finding a great fit. And at Her Room, we have everything you'll ever need to know about bra fitting in one place that we call the fitting room. Making the effort to find your perfect bra size will help you look better and feel more comfortable every day.